playing another TGC Tours World Cup of Design contest course. Today we've got Gloucester Country Club by MVP Manatee. Get that up there. There we go. All right, let's go have a look around. Uh, Jack was in the 2021 Rookie Design Contest, and he finished fourth with um, Avalon, I think it was called. Done a lot of uh, Design League. National Treasure was Dugong. Uh, you did a CC course too, didn't you? That was one, the Long Island one. That name escapes me. So Jack's been knocking on the door of being in World Cup and bigger contests, and well, he's there now. He's in World Cup, so. Oh, I, I know how to pronounce that. So it's, it's good to see Jack in like this major competition. Um, some would say finally. Uh, Dream, were you in Dream Team too? Falmouth? I can't remember. Yeah, you were. Okay, so yeah, Jack's really establishing himself. So, let's see what he's come up with here. Estuary, that's right. Okay. I'm expecting the greens to be nice and flat, because Jack doesn't like to put too much undulation in his. Hmm, with this wind, and the bunker placement, this is a three wood. That may, yeah, that makes sense now you're saying that, Jack, because you have been around for quite a while. And now you do, co yeah, that's right. I forget that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, shot back, fall, back front, false front. That's not like Jack at all. <laughs> I like the look of it. Oh, they are? <laughs> that's saying something. Yeah, this is a good idea. They, so this is one where, yeah, it's 380. It isn't just hammer a driver mindlessly and pitch one on. You had it's There's a decision to be made off the tee. Do you feel comfortable threading the needle through there with driver? Or do you feel more comfortable hitting a, a three-wood off the tee and then having a, a longer shot in? So that's how you make a, a short par four interesting. Um, planting looks all right. Bunkering looks pretty good. Greens are at 177. Okay. We're off and racing. The other thing there was the wind just wasn't the right direction either. Like it was, would have taken a hell of a drive to get it to where um, it would have been on fairway. And then we're going downhill a bunch. 460-ish. Pin tucked over on the right, so you want to be left if you can. But I think the camber might tell me that's not going to be an option. Oh no, I can get over here. Are these fairway soft-ish? They don't feel they don't feel like they're firm the way they're playing. And then yeah, there's a lot of color on the screen. <laughs> at this distance I don't know how much we can use the helping slopes to that pin just because it's a short shot but it's not the end of the world Open this to get a bounce. No. All right. Well, just leave it there. Hey, no problem, Mr. Cheese. It it definitely felt like Sherwood. Um, it's tough to do an RCR though. I literally just my fingers just slipped off the controller there before I hit that putt. Man, okay, where are your four pins? You've put one there because you're mean. You've probably got one here. Where's your other one? I 
there? No, I don't know. I'm having a hard time finding it. Yeah, good call. If we ever get an X game. You have two, okay. And then, yeah, that's a false front, all right? <laughs> wow. Um, really cool look from the T. Like, the, it's framed really nicely. The bunkering is, is done really well, too. I like the way that it's, uh, I just, I just like the way it's defining everything. There's some uh, more elevation change than I expected just based on land, so there's some sneaky stuff going on there. Um, visually, at least. Like, this has a bit of a reverse or to it, but it isn't because it, it's not the right angle of it. Huh. Has your brother turned pro yet, by the way, Jack? The summer? Because he's done college now, right? We got 460 into the wind? Gee. Uphill 71 feet? Jeez. Oh, and there's a marsh. No, it's not a marsh. It's just the... the uh, just the, It looked like water for a second. It's just because of the, the blue flowers. I didn't want that slow. Oh, dear. This is all you want in a hole. That's, that's, that's not very nice. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, crap. I wondered if I'd get it out with that club. I don't mind that at all. Bunker's actually a hazard. I yikes. All right. I mean, again, the game, you just break the course because the short game is so ridiculous. Um, man, that's a pin. The issue, I, the only issue I have with that is that it's 460, it's uphill, it was into the wind. I would have been hitting, geez, let me think. If I'd have been in the fairway, I'm hitting four iron probably. There's not much room there. And that's, that's pretty close to the sun, that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, he, it is, so far. No, I'm, I'm not going to, Charlie. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the course and, and comment on what I see about it. Um, the fact it's meant to be difficult is kind of irrelevant. Just like if a course is meant to be easy, it's kind of irrelevant. Holy friggin' hell. Um, being in the rough is a problem here. It definitely... So one thing I'm definitely seeing that I, I don't mind at all is that fairway is premium. Because this shot, good luck. Greens are certainly firm. Oh. oh, come on. <laughs> this hole doesn't have a full front. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, but being in the fairway there was, was a must. 
because uh, otherwise you're it's just you're you're guessing right with your second shot. And I, I like that. I like that you can take a crack at the green, but it's a dip, very difficult shot because you have no control over it. Yeah, this is definitely not a birdie fest. So again, we're doing... Oh. Do I... No, it's 3.30. Gonna bunt a three wood down here. I, I wonder if it would play, like... I don't know, is this the Highlands glitch, maybe? Um, maybe it, it's worth making sure the fairways are firm, because then the ball would roll a lot more. Potentially roll into trouble more. Um, which I think could be kind of cool. There just was like thud. If you can ever get it over that, you got you you have a look at the green. But I'm okay with just hitting a full sand wedge in. There's definitely a lot of thought needed on this one. The glitch is present in all themes? Oh. Holy sugar, that's a pin. Eight iron, though. Hmm. It looks like, I mean, you can play it to the back and kind of run it around a bit. That might be your best way of getting this close. I don't think you want to go at it. This this course is really striking me as um a really thinking kind of a course where you gotta you gotta really kinda think your way around and, and, and look at like okay, where is a potential bailout for me? I didn't hit that far enough to get to where I wanted. Um but you know, you, okay. So you you miss right. Clearly, that's no fun. It it's yeah. You're not just hitting it dead at the pin all the time. Which I enjoy that. I enjoy when you have to think. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't let me. <laughs> um, and it's not long either. It's like 6,800. So it, it needs to have that. Otherwise, it's just going to be a birdie fest. So that's well done. Uh, let's see. Because of this wind, I think I can just smash driver at that bunker. Another roll out of fun false front. <laughs> no, that's not a false front. That that's going front. This this is a this is a front back green for sure. Um, I think it's short enough. You can you can stop it. Uh, and again, it's another one where if you're not in the fairway, you're gonna struggle because you need this to stop. Wow, that went right. Wow, that went nowhere. Hmm. Better spin. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. I thought about it. I like that that's yellow right where I am. I would hate for it to just roll right off. Like, I, I do feel like there's... Area, there's always an area you can play to. Um, 
and and have a reasonable attempt. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get down there first. Uh, it's downhill quite a bit, isn't it? There we go. We should have... Okay. Jeez. Okay. You want to take a crack at this in two? You'd better be precise. I don't know if I have the right club for this. I think if I hit three, but I just go right through the back, unless I keep it far enough right. Hmm. If I hit three iron, I think I die on the slope. <laughs> uh, when it, well, these are 177 panda, so yeah, they'll be a little bit worse. What if I try and hit a big cut ski into this? Oh, I'm on a downhill lie, too. Hmm. I'm gonna just... This is what I would do in normal, in real life. Miss short. And then of course I'm in this little grass bunker. Ah! Yeah. That's well placed and it's, it's, that's a really good idea to do that. Because a, 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 a sand bunker would have been a, just an easy shot out of there. Grass bunker. Like, rough like that. Again, you don't have the control over it. Hmm. You're going to have to play this one a few times to figure it out. Or you could just make pots, I guess. Well, I mean, if they were designed at 177, they'll play 187, I would imagine. So for competition, you'd have 163, 177, 187 would be your options, really, right? Okay, this is not really reachable. I don't think. Little cider bunker there that you're going to hit it over. Oh, I knew there was camera. I didn't realize it was that much. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, oh, it's 80 feet up. I think the play here is just to hit it here. A lot of people are going to try and take driver at it, and they're going to bury it in this bunker here. If you try to drive when you're that far uphill... You're not, you're not making it. Yeah. I think this is going to come way... It's, my 213-yard club went 180. Well, I think what it is, Charlie, is that the green speeds have been different. All right, you're you're definitely um, you're definitely rewarded for thinking around here, which I really like. And the greens are wild, yeah, but they're playable. Um. The environment's great. I mean, sculpting's really cool. I like the bunkering you've done. That, I mean, that that way or that grass bunker on nine was a fantastic idea. Now I'm trying to keep this to the right so I don't catch that ridge. Yeah. Yeah. You just want to be on the right ridge here.
I still have a hell of a putt here, but... Nah. Kind of a US, U.S. Open style, I would say. Fairways are important. Greens are important. Not really too many gimme opportunities. I didn't want that. And he, he's not going to get that kick, is it? Oh, it almost did. Oh, it did. Oh, thanks, Jack. Appreciate that. Again, right? In the... <laughs> right dead smack in between two clubs. Hmm... Middle of the green is fine, thank you. Oh, whoa. Okay, I missed that. Oh, it's front to back. Oh. Well, then I'm super glad I hit that shot. I didn't realize, I didn't, I didn't see that being front to back. I don't know why. Huh, that, that's on me, I didn't see that. No. Ah, you bugger. No, I, I just... I'm not sure what it was, Jack. I was just looking at it, and for some reason, I just assumed it was the other way. Um, So I thought I was just going to hit three iron into the middle oh, of the green. Oh, I wanted that to go in, just because this stupid hole would then just shove it right up its ass. Hey, Chris. Uh, we need a lot here. The, the, this plan thing looks cool, too. Maybe, oh, shoot. Maybe a little on the high side, but I think that it works that way. Ah. This is no good. Hmm. Gotta work for this one. Alright, we'll take that. Yeah, the grass bunker on 9 was awesome. I hit it in there like an idiot, and had a doubt, just, yeah, it was all manner of headache it caused me. Partial driver. Probably could hit it all, but not sure I really needed to. I think one thing that really makes these greens work is that you're rarely hitting, you're very rarely hitting a long iron into them. So it's not at all unreasonable then for them to be a bit on the harsher side. The back of this dumps you into heavy rough. Not a fan. But for this pin, it doesn't matter. But yeah, because you can hit a wedge in, I mean, this, this is a pin that... Bit of a nightmare of a pin, but hitting a wedge so it's you're basically being asked to hit it into this area here which I think is reasonable you get a little bit of help if you go a bit long you forgot oh jeez <laughs> Oh, to the right. What do we got over there? What is this? 
Just really dense. Okay. Many of you would call that tick grass. Hmm. Cool little par three here. Yeah, you could. I mean, I also get the sense that I've played some doozy pins, but I've also missed some. So you've, it looks like you've done a good job of spreading the pins out and having like, I think each round is going to have a couple of pretty wild pins, but each round I'll have a couple of like a little bit saint, like more gentler pins, I guess. Uh, huh. I'm actually going to hit driver here for once on this course, on this type of a hole, I mean. I might not like my result, but I wasn't loving the idea of three. Oh, perfect. Hey, Caleb, what's up, dude? Stupid. All right. If you're judging this course for World Cup, I mean, you have to play, I mean, you should be playing all four pins anyways. But, I mean, you really have to on this course, because it's going to be so different. Depending which pin set you get, you're going to have to try different conditions. Oh, look at this par four. Hey there, David. How's it going, man? All right, I'm going to try. Don't think fast was the right shot there. Nope. That's a narrow, narrow shoot you got to hit hit it through to get on here and I'm all I'm I'm completely fine with that. I like the back the the false back too. I mean, you're trying to knock it on a green unless in regulation. I have no problem at all with it being difficult to pull off. Excuse me. Um, and then there being penalties if you don't. Uh, is that next? I think it's next. I haven't played it yet either way. Hmm, where's my tempo gone? Wasn't very nice to. S oh! Yeah, we're in the rough. We're going to be struggling. Oh, uh, let's see. That pin's actually fairly tame I don't think this makes it nope bridge bridge no bridge Again, the short game is so friggin' easy. It hurts. Like, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't be shooting the score I'm shooting here. Oh, that's 18. Oh, crap. Like, that, that was as a routine and up and down as you want to get. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. 
it, it's there is so much thought you had to put in that one. Um, can I find the score card from here? Uh, there it is. Okay, cool. Um, sixty-eight hundred yards. It's all you want. Uh, there's a lot of short par fours, but they're all interesting. They're all holes that you have to really think your way through. Um, this is the kind of course that, for me at least, if you can, if you think about what you're doing, you'll have opportunities to score. If you just go out there and smash it everywhere, you're going to struggle. Uh, it's a, it's a rare course where being in the fairway matters a lot. It's on the difficult side for sure, but it's not, I mean, it's, it's not unfairly difficult. It's basically, you need to hit it here. You need to hit it here. It's so it's, it's that kind of us open style, which would I want to play that style every day? No, but I can handle it now and then for sure. And I like, I like this. This was really cool. Um, yeah, that's a great job, Jack. I saw somebody mention that they thought it was your best course. I, I tend to agree with them. That was really, really good. Really good. No, it's not gimmicky difficult at all. It's there's always there's always a shot. You always have a place to play it if you don't want to take on the pin. Which, yeah, it's really well done. Uh, and to make a course of that length be difficult, it's tricky. So that's really cool. Uh, we'll be back for those watching on YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed seeing this. Um, and then to allow other people to see the great courses that these guys create. I'll be back with another playthrough soon. For now, I'm going to say cheers.